Hey everybody, K-Ball here from Zurb. In today's lesson, we're gonna be talking about data attributes and the way that you can use them to customize Foundation's behavior in all of its JavaScript components. This is a pretty basic lesson, but it's fundamental to how you can use Foundation and truly customize it to make your vision a reality. So, let's jump into the code. All right, so we're gonna start off by looking at the slider component within Foundation. I'm on the slider docs page right now, so we can see that the basics of a slider consists of a pretty simple set of HTML. You've got a container, a handle, a fill, and an input. And you can see in here there's a whole slew of data attributes. Data attributes are the way that we talk uh, to the JavaScript, we communicate things to the JavaScript within Foundation. We separate out the concepts, IDs are used to target things, classes are used for styles, and data attributes, our topic for today, are for that JavaScript communication. So let's jump over actually into a code pen so we can fill these things out dynamically and tinker with them. Looking at this again, I've got a basic slider, no CSS, just uh, simple JavaScript instantiation. So what have we got? We start off with a data slider attribute. So that's a data attribute indicating to the JavaScript what this thing is. This is a slider. Inside you can see a couple other attributes that are similar, a data slider handle attribute and a data slider fill. Those are telling the JavaScript, this is what should behave as a handle, this is what should behave as a fill. We also have the classes on there for styling, but those two are independent. You can also see here that we've set an initial start and an initial end using the data attributes, or sorry, and an end. Data initial start 50, meaning start this thing out at 50, and data end of 200. And you can see when this runs, you've got this thing started right in the middle. Let's tinker with that. Let's just change the start from 50 to 25. Restart, and suddenly we're just a little bit closer to the beginning. That's because we've passed in a different variable to do it. If we want to configure this more, we can go back to the docs, scroll down a ways, and near the bottom, we can actually see every different variable that you can use for communicating to the JavaScript. So we talked a little bit about start, initial start, and uh, let's try adding a step. So data step is the minimum change value per event. How big is the step we go along with the slider? And it defaults to one. We go in here and say, okay, let's change that. Data step equals five. Save and rerun. Now we can see that this slider element is chunking along in increments of five. This pattern is how you can influence anything that you've got going on. So any of these different items here, you can disable, make it draggable or not draggable, change it to vertical. All these things are available to us in the JavaScript. They're options and we can pass them in by using the data attributes on the component itself. Let's do a slightly more complicated example using the reveal component. So if we hop over to the reveal component documentation, uh, we can see that it's about the same. You have a container, it's got a data reveal attribute on it. The one additional thing that's tricky here, and the reason I want to use this as an example, is we have an ID and we have a separate uh, data element or attribute with the data element that is going to point to this reveal and trigger it. Looking at this in CodePen, I just copied and pasted that example. We have at the top the open link, and down below we have the reveal modal itself. The open link is using a data open attribute with a name or a target. That's pointing to an ID. If you'll recall earlier, I said we use IDs for targeting. This is what tells the foundation JavaScript that when this link is clicked, look for something called example modal and open it. And if we go down to the rendered example, we do a click, there it is, it's open. Looking down at the reveal uh, component itself, oh, dogs in the office. Uh, if we look at the reveal component itself, we can see there's a data reveal attribute, uh, and that's what tells the foundation JavaScript this thing is a reveal modal. Uh, down inside it, we've got a close button with a data close saying, hey, if I click on this thing, you should close it. We can see all the different variables available to us to configure reveal by going back to the documentation, scrolling down, and seeing all these options. We can have a delay when it's shown, when it's hidden. 
we can allow multiple to be opened at the same time. We can do different levels of offset, positioning it on the page. Let's just use a very quick, simple example of setting the data offset. So instead of having it automatically positioned, I'm going to do a data V offset, vertical offset. And say I want it just to be right at the very top of the screen. I'm going to set it to zero. Save and rerun. Now when I click this, it's right up there hugged close to the top. We could even put it in the corner by adding a horizontal offset of zero as well. Data H offset. Save and run. Click it. There we are uh, with our reveal up in the left, upper left corner of the screen. So these data attributes really give you access to all the different ways that you can configure the behavior of any of the foundation components. Um, it makes it super simple to customize your behavior without ever having to leave your markup. Never having to touch. You can basically write JavaScript without ever writing JavaScript. All right, with that, you now understand how to use data attributes to customize every element of your foundation components. And we went through the docs, so you should be able to go to any component you want to use and figure out what it is that you can customize right then and there. Check out the lesson below for direct links to the code we went through so you can play with it yourself, tinker, and get comfortable. And if you want to go deep on this, our next Introduction to Foundation webinar is happening Tuesday, December 6th. We'll talk about exactly this data attributes, but we'll also talk about all the other elements in Foundation to really bring your game up a notch. You'll have direct access to me and the other experts who help create Foundation. Hope to see you there.